All right, it looks like everyone's here, so we'll get started. Hello everyone, welcome to ConnectWitty's platform demo for new users. My name is Jocelyn Jackson, and I'm a customer support specialist for ConnectWitty. Today, I'm going to highlight the basic features of ConnectWitty's professional referral and networking platform. We'll take a look at how to get hyper-targeted referral partners using our in-depth profile options, automated tools, and a connections hub for all of your professional referrals. Our goal is to help you build lasting referral partnerships with automated tools and features to help you do it more efficiently. So let's go ahead and get started. When you sign up for Connectwity, you have the option of using your professional network or social account. I suggest using the professional network account that you're most active on since that information will come in handy when it comes time to optimize some of our features. And I'll touch base on this in the demo. So when you first come in, you're directed to the new matches page, which has your one-click match tool. This is one of our great features that helps you go through your referral matches even faster, but we'll get into that after we go through the profile options. Connectwity's platform is able to match you with highly relevant professionals because our algorithm combines deeper levels of matching criteria from your profile, your client's profile, and your target referral partner types. We're going to start with your profile. We make it easy to autofill your Connectwity profile with information from your LinkedIn. And don't worry, this doesn't bring in any of your connections information, so you don't have to worry about us contacting them. It imports your LinkedIn photo, profession, job title, summary, and other options which you can edit after you import. You can also update your profile at any time during your membership. In addition, you also get three services and you can add in personal interests and hobbies into your profile. When you use the sync LinkedIn option, the only thing you can't edit is your profession that is tied exclusively to your LinkedIn. So if you want that to be different, you would want to manually put in all of your information. Down here, we also have your contact information. Now you have the option to make this visible or not to other members. I would suggest that you keep it visible so when that you are connected with someone, they'll be able to either go directly to your email or give you a phone call. We also do have the messaging abilities in Connectwity as well if you don't want to give out that information. So this is the first level of matching criteria for getting hyper-targeted professionals. Now we'll look at your client profile options, and then I'll take some questions on these two sections. The next level of matching criteria looks at your current client's profile. The best part about these options is that you can be very descriptive and specific about the types of clients you serve. Connectwity's matching engine looks at both your professional assets and the type of clientele you bring in to other members. First, you'll choose the business territories where your clients are located. The maximum number of territories you can choose from will depend on your membership plan. Next, you can get specific about the types of businesses or individuals you serve. You can put in, put in details for both of these categories, or if you only work with one of them, you can uncheck the one you don't work with and fill out the categories accordingly. So for example, if you're a family attorney who works exclusively with certain household incomes, maybe different family sizes, net worth, you can really hone in on those details and vice versa. If your client range varies, you can also click all apply, not relevant, and so on. Being detailed in your profile and your client profile helps Connectwity hone in on the best business connections that will help you build reciprocal partnerships. All right, any questions on these two sections before we get into referral partner types?
Hi, Laura. At this time, we cannot import LinkedIn connections automatically, just your individual profile information. LinkedIn is very particular about letting third parties access their members' connections. Hi, Jake. That's a great question. Would it limit your matches if you are too specific in your client profile? Since our matching algorithm encompasses the whole picture of your profile, client's profile, referral types, plus the activities you do in Connequity, I wouldn't hesitate to be too specific. In the referral targeting section, which is up next, you'll have more matching criteria options that will help you open up more possibilities. You can also experiment with your options and adjust them to see what works best for you as you go. Your client profile information is all adjustable at any time during your membership. Any other questions before we move on to referral types? All right, let's look at the final profile criteria for targeted matches, the referral partner types. Your targeting options for referral partners are located in the Refine Matches page. So far, you've told Connequity about your professional and client attributes that would be of value to others. Now it's time to describe what types of referral partners are valuable to you. Based on your membership plan, you'll have a maximum number of territories and professions you can choose from. You can always upgrade your plan to receive more options. Pick the business territories where your potential partners would be located. Then pick the professions and services of your best referral sources who have the most potential business clients for you. You'll see that there are a lot of options to choose from. Once you've picked your target professions and services, you'll go another level deeper by prioritizing them based on highest percentage of match relevancy to the lowest. So if this isn't as relevant to you, you can tone it all the way down or bring it back all the way up. After you finish this, you're all set on all your profile options for receiving targeted matches. So now it's time to get your match results and make referrals with Connequity's automated tools. Before we move on to the tools, any questions on referral partner types? Hi Craig, when you change any profile options, you'll see immediate changes in your match results with the one-click match tool, which is up next. Any more questions before we move on? All right. Your profiles are all set now, so let's take a look at your match results in the automated one-click match tool. That's located back on the new matches page that we initially landed on when you signed in. Not only does our match tool help you review your matches faster, it also helps make them better. Connequity's platform learns your preferences as you take actions on members' profiles, so the more you use the tools, the more it learns about your likes, dislikes, commonalities, and other factors to produce better match results. It's easy to review your matches. You'll see a quick snapshot of the professional's profile with their name, job title, company, and in the match tool, you'll see a synergy score based on your combination of profile traits. And if you need more information about a professional before you make a decision, you can click on Show More. You'll see more details about your synergy levels, and you can also view their full summary. When you accept a match, you're telling Connequity that you want to be introduced to the professional. So we send them an email with an introduction of your professional traits and a request to accept your match. 
When they accept, you'll be notified via email and you'll be able to go to their profile to contact them and start making referrals. As you accept matches, those people will be immediately displayed in the left-hand sidebar. These matches that you accept are also referred to as your referral network contacts. This is a real-time counter of your available referral network, which represents the matches you've accepted that are pending a response, and your current accepted matches where both of you have accepted. You can see all these people in the My Network page, And with each membership plan, there is a fixed limit on how many total referral network contacts you can have. And you can choose to upgrade your membership or remove some of older pending matches whenever you like. Now when you deny a match, we take that professional out of your match results and ask for feedback to help you better improve your searches. If you accidentally deny someone, you can go back to the Matches menu tab and click on New Matches, and they'll be right back where they were. When you're not sure about what you want to do with a match, you can click Skip so that the professional stays in your search queue for future consideration. Now for each match that you accept or deny, they're counted as a match introduction. And depending on your membership plan, you'll have a set limit on how many match introductions you get per month. Currently, under our highest plan, the unlimited plan, you can have 30 match introductions per month, and you'll also be shown in an unlimited number of member searches. So under this plan, Clark can only accept or deny 30 match results per month, but his profile is open to a potential of unlimited number of searches so we don't cap the visibility of his profile. Once you hit your match limits, the one-click match tool sits on standby until your limit resets itself for the next month. So that's the awesome one-click match tool. And before we move on to referral tools, I'll take some questions. Hi, Jacob. Great question. If you still have available match introductions by the end of the month, those do not roll over into the next month. Your max limit gets reset each month according to your plan options. If you accidentally accept a match that you didn't want, you can actually go into the left-hand sidebar, click on the person, and click Remove Match. This won't give you back the match introduction point you used, but you will free up a spot in your available referral network contacts. Hi Elisa! Currently you would have to upgrade your membership plan to get more match introductions per month, but soon we'll be coming out with the Referral Points program to reward users with more matches, so keep a lookout for that announcement. Hi Chris, unfortunately you cannot message someone before they've accepted your match. This helps prevent our members from experiencing any spamming activity and it keeps your contact information exclusive to only those you wish to connect with. Any other questions before we move on to the referral and contacts tools? So with the one-click match tool, you've connected with new referral partners. Now it's time to leverage your referral contacts to create high-value partnerships for you and your network. We'll start by merging your external professional connect connections into Connectwity. You're able to do this from the network menu in the contact page with our sync tool 
you can import professional contacts from your Gmail, Outlook, or type in specific emails. Once you bring those individuals in, you can invite them to be part of your Connectwity network. We do not reach out to your external contacts or take any action on them until you've decided to invite them or refer them to another member in Connectwity. We appreciate your business and we don't want to breach your trust. Inviting your professional contacts, including your clients, allows you to utilize our auto referral tool to connect members and your connections all in one spot. We'll look at these referral tools from the referral menu. In the refer page, we have our auto referral tool that lets you go through your contacts and refer them with ease. First, you select the Connectwity member that you'd like to be referred. Then, you can select another Connectwity member or one of your professional contacts. You can add a special note to both parties if you'd like. Then you just hit send referral and boom, done. An email will be sent to both parties to let them know that they've been referred to one another and to accept the referral. Any non-member contacts that you select to be referred will be prompted to sign up for Connectwity before they can accept the referral. When both parties accept the referral, we'll send you a notification email as well. You can also track your referral activities in new referrals, referrals received, and referrals given. When you receive a new referral, you can accept or defer like you would in the match introductions. And if you defer a referral, the other party won't be notified by an email, but you will see your status updates in referrals received. The pending status means that either you or the other party still needs to take action on the referral. And when you give referrals, you'll see the activity status between those people. The auto referral tool and tracking features makes this your all-in-one referral hub, which is the biggest asset to managing your referral partnerships. We do the heavy lifting for you, so you don't have to. Also, if you can't remember who's in your Connectwity referral network, you can go back to the network menu, click on referral network, and you can see the breakdown of which contacts belong to which group. Now you know how to use the referral tools, the contact tools, match tool, and adjust all your profile options. So the only thing left to do is sign up and start networking. So before you do, or if you already have, do you have more questions for me? Hi Max, when you sign up with the free plan, you'll be able to review your pricing options in the billing section of your account. Any other questions? All right, well, thank you again for your time. My name is Jocelyn Jackson, and I'm here to help you out whenever you need it. My email is membersupport at connectwity.com. So feel free to contact me if you have any questions or need any assistance. Thank you all again for joining us and have a wonderful day.